angles are having many terms associated with them. These are some of the terms associated with angles. Line segment It is part of line with two end points. For example, we are having one line L. And on this line we are having two point A and B. Then A and B are line segment here. Ray is one line with one end point. For example, we are having one line L and it is having one end point A. Then it, this is called as ray. Collinear and non-collinear points. If we are having one line L and there are three or more points on this line, then this is called collinear points. Here, a, B, C are collinear point. But if there are some points which are not on the line like point D and point E, then we will say point D, E, C are not collinear. One angle is formed when two rays are starting from same end point. Let's say we are having one ray. Let's say we are having one ray starting from point O. Here, this ray is called as OA and we are having another ray which is starting from the same end point which is O and it is B. Then, this is called angle. Here, we are having vertex of angle. This common end point is called vertex of the angle. Now, we will see different type of angle. Firstly, we will see right angle and straight line. If there is one ray OA and another ray is perpendicular to this, then this angle is 90 degree. And 90 degree angle is called as right angle. And another ray is starting from point O and, and forming a straight line then this is called straight angle. It is equal to 180 degree. Now, if any angle which is less than 90 degree and greater than 0 degree is called acute angle. So, all the angles which are inside this area is called acute angle. For example, this 45 degree angle is acute angle. If angle is more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree, then this angle is called obtuse angle. For example, this angle is obtuse angle. Reflex angle is an angle which is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. For example, this angle is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. So, this is called reflex angle. Complementary angle. If sum of two angle is 90 degree, then they are called complementary angle. For example, if one angle is equal to 30 degree and another angle is equal to 60 degree, then they are called complementary angle because their sum is equal to 90 degree. Supplementary angle. If sum of two angle is equal to 180 degree, then they are called supplementary angle. For example, 50 degree angle plus 130 degree angle is equal to 180 degree. They are called supplementary angles. Two angles are called adjacent angle if they are having one common vertex and one common 
ray and another two non common rays are on the opposite side of the common ray here these angle l1 and angle l2 are called adjacent angle here if we say vertex is o which is common for them and they are a b c here o b is common ray and o a and o c which are non common ray they are on the opposite side of the common ray here if we have another set of angles like this where common as is o b and angles are like this a b and c b in this case non common rays are not on the opposite side of common rays so they are not adjacent angles linear pair of angles here we know adjacent angles are angles in which one ray is common they are having common vertex and they are having one common ray and if non common rays are forming one straight line then they are called as linear pair of angle because sum of these two angle is equal to 180 degree and they are having one common ray vertically opposite angles are formed when two lines are intersecting at one point here angle 1 and angle 2 are vertically opposite angle it is having another set of vertically opposite angle which is angle 3 and angle 